In this video, I'm going to talk about solving linear equations. Um, this is going to talk about identities and contradictions. So sometimes when we solve these equations, some weird things happen, and I'll show you kind of what those weird things mean. All right, so here we go. I have an example of solving an equation. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just solve it like you normally would. Now, this looks like a problem where I have I got variables on both sides. I got variables on the left. I got v's on the left and a v on the right. So what I want to do is, okay, I just want to solve it. So I want to get all the v's to one side. All right, so I'm going to start solving this. First thing on the left, I see that I got v's here, so I'm going to collect them together. Um, positive 3, negative 4 makes a negative 1v. Notice I don't put the 1 there, I just leave this negative v. Uh, the 1 is kind of redundant. All right, and on the right side, I'm going to distribute that negative. This makes negative 5 uh, minus v. Okay. All right, now, just like normal, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the decision. Do I have my variables on the left or on the right? Uh, let's just choose left. So what I want to do is I want to move all my variables to the left side. This one's on the left. I've got to move this one to the left side. So a negative v, I've got to add v to both sides, add v to both sides. Okay, so now what happens is that's 0, that's okay. So this equals negative 5. But then this happens here. Negative v plus v gives me 0. So that actually goes away. And that's what's weird. I mentioned at the beginning of this video, something, sometimes weird things happen. And in this case, what happened is that the variables went away. What, what does that mean? Uh, well, in this case, what that means is that, well, we have two things that could mean it. It's either an identity or a contradiction. Which one is it? Well, look at what we just have here. Look at the bottom of what we've just solved. Negative 9 is equal to negative 5. Negative 9 is equal to negative 5. That is never true. This here is never, never true. Negative 9 is never going to be equal to negative 5. Those are two very, very different numbers. So that's never going to be true. So as you're solving these equations, if you get to something weird like this, you can actually use this weirdness to kind of evaluate what this is. If this is never true, this is what we call a contradiction. If this is never true, this is what we call a contradiction. So basically what this means is that there is no number, so here's a v, here's a v, here's a v. There is no single number that we can plug in to each one of these variables and get the same thing on the left side and on the right side. So basically it means that no, that the variable is not equal to any number that we can find. Okay, so that's what a contradiction is. If you find something that's never true, it's a contradiction, which means we can't, there, there is no answer to it. Okay, so let's do another one. Let's do another example. Two times the quantity x minus six equals negative five x minus 12 plus 7x. There we go. Alrighty, so looking at this one, again, I'm going to solve this just like normal. And again, looking at this, it looks like I got variables on the left side, variables on the right side. So it looks like one of those type of problems. Again, I'm going to treat this like normal. I'm just going to start gathering things together that are alike, and then I'm going to move the variable to where I, where I deem necessary. So anyway, here we go. Alright, so I'm going to take the 2 and distribute it. So this is 2x minus 12 equals, all right, so negative 5x and a 7x, that makes 2x minus 12, okay? Now, if you start looking at this, look at the left side and look at the right side. Back up a little bit, look at the left side and look at the right side. It's the exact same thing on the left and on the right side, okay? So this is what we call an identity. Yeah, this is what we call an identity. If you see that everything on the left side and everything on the right side it happens to be the same, this is what we call an identity. What it means is that actually any variable is going to work. Anything is going to work. I can plug in the number 5. So if I put a 5 here, 2 times 5 is 10. 10 minus 12 is negative 2. 2 times 5 is 10. 10 minus 12 is negative 2. Negative 2, negative 2. It works. I can plug in whatever number I want to, and it's always going to work. Okay, that's kind of the definition of identity. All right, now, the thing is, is not all students are going to see this right away. Okay, when you start solving it, you're just going to want to keep solving and keep solving. All right, so 
If you want to keep solving, I'm just going to go through the normal process. So I have everything gathered. So now I want to decide, all right, let's get all the variables on the left side. That's traditionally what students like to do. So let's subtract 2x, take this x and move it over to the other side. So subtract 2x, subtract 2x. And what happens is all the x's go away. So now this kind of, this looks like a contradiction, but if you look at the very last, if you look at the very last line here, we have negative 12 is equal to negative 12. Negative 12 is equal to negative 12, which is actually very different from our first example. In this case, negative 12 is always equal to negative 12. This always happens. Negative 12 and negative 12 are the same number. Okay, so we can see the difference between the contradiction last time and the identity this time. So if it's always true, that makes it an identity. Okay? And again, the definition of identity is every number is going to work. Uh, what, we also, what we also say in, in math land is that um, all real numbers, numbers are solutions. All real numbers are solutions. So again, you can plug in whatever you want to and you're gonna get the same thing on the left side and on the right side. Okay, so that's how you find identities. That's how you find contradictions. And there's a couple of examples of, of both of them. It basically comes down to what you see at the very end. It, at the very end, is it always true? Then it's an identity. If it was never true, like our first example, if it's never true, then it's a contradiction.